Hello, greetings. Uh, I'm kind of uh, flabbergasted, <laughs> shocked. Uh, so it will take me time to explain this genesis. Uh, it, uh, the daughter slept with uh, Lot's children. Oh, Lot, uh, the father was Lot, sorry, what am I saying? So, oh God, I'm kind of so, I'm reading, I'm here, I'm here, Bible hub. And so God has, now Abraham told, oh sorry, it's not focusing. This is the problem. Now return the man's wife. Abraham first tells this king, he enters this land and tells this king that uh, Sarah is my sister. And Sarah tells the king that yes, he is my brother. They both lie. And now God is telling them, this is Genesis 27. Okay, now uh, the, uh, I got of, I read all that. It's there, uh, the daughters, not of, uh, not of no, Noah. Oh, sorry, we say no, so I get all confused like this. The Arabic uh, Quran. <laughs> Noah, Noah, uh -huh. not Noah's daughters, but uh, Lot's, Lut, Hazrat Lut. <laughs> so the God did not, uh, let's see if he sends a wrath on the Moabites and uh, who are the other ones. Uh, the, they got, the daughters got pregnant. They got their father drunk and all this. You can see in Genesis 19, or what, it's 20 still. But here, I've reached here, like, what is the purpose? This man, King, what, what is, God is, he will pray for you. Now return the man's wife, for he is a prophet, meaning Abraham is a prophet. And he will pray for you, and you will live. But if you do not return her, you may be sure that you and all who belong to you will die. There at David's time, king, he doesn't say this. God doesn't uh, say to King David that you will die and your, all your, you will be ripped off of your kingdom. Your nation will die. Here at this poor king, he thought because Abraham, the prophet Abraham, told the king, you get it? So Sam Shaman type Christians will say fake, fake, idolaters, demon, demonic. I am just uh, going and I don't want to read this anymore. Don't want to understand. The first time I read it, Bible. Of course, we don't say anything to the Christians, right? Because it would be very rude. So keep our mouths shut and try to comprehend this. Ah, but if you do not return her, God is telling the king of a nation which Abraham, a land which Abraham has entered, told a lie. I, I just cannot get past this also. So I was trying to figure out what uh, God, oh, you know, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm stuck. I'm shocked. But if you do not return her, God is uh, uh, threatening him. This king, poor king, to whom Abraham has said that Sarah, his wife, is his sister. Why is God threatening the king? Let me just, if I can, in this shock, complete this. Like I read it, but it's very difficult for me to read it out loud <laughs> here. But if you do not return her, God is threatening this king, this poor innocent king. And what did King David do? He raped, seems he raped Bathsheba. He killed her husband, yet God did not threaten. King David, like he threatened this innocent king here. You can read 
because you see these Christians on YouTube have made my work very very hard truth seeker you see comprehending this now not making any excuses and uh, so what okay there also uh, back there I'll tell you how now like uh, she is my sis did he not say to me she's my sister and didn't she also say he's my brother the king <laughs> I have done this with a clear conscience and clean hands Genesis 25 okay Bible hub Bible hub I could be <coughs> copyrights uh, infringement oh my goodness now Abimelech was the king right had not gone near her so he said Lord will you destroy an innocent me and then Lord afterwards is saying yes I will destroy you if you don't give her back Abraham lied in the first place so did Sarah to this Abimelech king go through these Genesis uh, I hardly have the heart to now try to understand this I'm sorry but I will have to <coughs> okay this is about Lut the older daughter had a son yeah it's in Genesis 19 19 oh my god so the, the older daughter who slept with her father Lot, Lot in Arabic Lot in English had a son from her father she got him drunk and she named him Moab he is the father of the Moabites of today, of today. So no, like I wanted to see if God had uh, cursed the Moabites and the the younger daughter. Going back, so both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. Genesis 1936 older daughter Moab older daughter had a son and she named him Moab he is the father of the Moabites of today so I was trying to look search for when they will be annihilated by God the younger daughter also had a son and she named him Ben Ami he is the father of the Ammonites of today. Ammonites. So now Abraham moved on there into the region of the Negev and lived between Kadesh and Shur for a while. He stayed in Gerar. And there Abraham said of his wife Sarah, so no no punishment for the Moabites or the Ammonites as yet and I don't oh I'm so tired fake huh fake Sam Shaman zero tolerance for liars excuse makers okay I'll just upload this this is too much for me it is enough for now I'll do it later thank you so much